Welcome to Chapter 20. My Working Potential and Ill Health. Expulsion from the Institute of Physics for bringing them into disrepute. During these five years in Ireland, my health has been slowly deteriorating and I am presently physically unfit to work. I am at the moment staying at a place that is probably the most convenient in the country because there is a lift in the building and I don't have to climb the stairs. The supermarkets, the pharmacy and any place a person could want to go to a two to five minutes walk from where I live. I've been registered as disabled. And that's because some doctors wrote negative things about my health. I guess this itself was a bit of a trend breaker. The last one suggested the disability application but wrote somewhat positive things and it was rejected at present. I am physically unfit to work which as you know will get worse with time two years ago I was fitter than I am today to work five years ago when I first came to Ireland I was even fitter than I was two years ago. Through the years I have been desiring work I was told no there is no work for you why there's one simple explanation which is that they have a place called Intrio it is similar to the UK job center in the UK job center as you guessed correctly from its name they have job listings the truth is these listings are only for levels one and two of literacy I don't know how they classify levels of literacy because I thought there were five levels and now they're saying there are nine levels and 20 levels. So if I was to get a job from the UK Job Centre it will be for people who don't have any education. People with education could also do those jobs. I never had the fitness to do a man's job like lifting heavy things. And women won't have me in a woman setting you know they just won't have me. Which is a blessing because I don't belong with them. Because of not having the right to work in the UK and several problems in other countries it leaves me the good two decades of unemployment for most of the time. I was expelled in the UK from the Institute of Physics in 2006. Officially the reason for the expulsion was that I brought them into disrepute. This is not a civil or criminal charge but is one of the standard reasons available for expulsion. You see these days you cannot criticize any organization even if your criticisms are true. If you do, and you are a member as I was they will expel you from their membership. If you don't have a membership with them, they could sue you for slander if you criticize them. But slander means you are saying something false about a person. If you tell the truth and criticize an institute can they sue you? In theory, they cannot sue you. But because they have money and they are big, if your stature is microscopic, they could easily prove the truths you uttered about them to be lies. Anyone can expel anyone without giving reasons. They could give any reason. I think it is like being expelled from a store. It could be racism or anything. They don't have to give their true reasons and motives. Nowadays anyone can expel anyone. This is the era of happiness. And the happiness of expellers is supported. Personally, if I heard someone was expelled from a big institute, I would make no assumptions about the respectability of either party. There is speculation by a UK lawyer that all these irregular happenings with my immigration proceedings and other factors in the UK were caused by my expulsion institute of physics. You see my residence in the UK was from 2014 to 2018 and I was expelled from the institute of physics in the middle of 2006. My entry into the UK was on a visa issued in November 2004. As a settlement laser expired in November 2006 in two years. My expulsion from IOP was in MID 2006. 
which they wrote to multiple addresses in the course of the 12 months to follow. It was in November 2006 that the Home Office had to decide whether to extend my visa. Since my expulsion from IOP preceded the visa date, the Home Office could have been negatively influenced by the IOP. The lawyer explained that if you become objectionable to an institute or large corporation, that organization may be to influence a decision on whether or not to deport you. You may find yourself in India and never find out the Institute of Physics was behind it, he said. I'm sorry but I do not know the sharp difference between Home Office and UKBA. Now there are very senior people in the Institute of Physics who are also senior employees of the Home Office. I guess if the Institute of Physics has political influence over the UK government, then its desire to have an objectionable person or perceived threat removed from the country could be carried out if they are liable to immigration control. Indeed when I was in Yarlswood IRC Immigration Removals Center, one of my fellow inmates was a Ukrainian lady. She said she was damn good at her job, but because her boss wanted a vendetta against her, she was being deported. Many people, who are just ordinary people, commonly write malicious letters about brown-skinned neighbors and colleagues to immigration to Luna House, the headquarters of UKBA in Croydon. While Luna House said letters that are not sent by registered post with a tracking number are at risk of being thrown out, I heard most of these malicious letters end up in the waste bins. A politically influential institute like the Institute of Physics may have a better chance of sabotaging someone's immigration. If the Home Office wanted me out of the UK at the behest of the Institute of Physics, they are not going to say we want you to go to India because the Institute of Physics says so. Now if they deny a person the legal right to work and also deny them the legal right to have a relationship in the UK, that person will not ever have a job or relationship in the UK. One or more of these are needed, though, to make me, who is indeed that person, have no items that can make me eligible to stay in the UK. How can you immigrate to a country where you will absolutely no relationships and won't ever work? Difficult. UKBA feel this is not a cruel procedure because the person will just go back to their country, where they can be happy.